connecting. She's connecting. All right, come on in. It's so silly. Hey, Hi, Queen. Cookie. Okay, still connected. We see you though. There she go. Hey, Boogie, you gotta unmute it. Unmute, unmute, unmute. What's up? Hi. Hey, How Queen. beautiful, and I'm saying that because she's beautiful. I'm, I'm like, <laughs> thank you. Hey, welcome Hi. to the Thick Girl Radio Show. Your hair looks beautiful too. I love it. Thank you, thank you. I just did me some little yarn braids. Y'all know you're trying to do a little something. something. Yeah, my edges looking good, okay and I would do it too, but I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> Girl, I got you. We're gonna grow them things right on back. Silly. I got a lot of hair, but my edges are struggling. I'm gonna be I honest. I got a hair oil. I got a hair oil that'll work for you. It's, you got a hair. You got a hair serum. Yes, I got a hair serum that that'll grow it right on back. Okay, it works well, for a I'm, I'm coming to the year old age. man. I'm coming to my I'm coming to the A um next week. So have that for me. All right. Let's get it. So introduce yourself. Oh wow. Okay. Well, hey Thick Girls Radio. Hey. My name is Boogie, Boogie Nights. Um, I'm from Houston, Texas. I live in Atlanta and I work in Atlanta and um H Town all day. <laughs> all day. So um, ooh. Okay, what else? Your so, business, yeah, so. your business, your business. <laughs> right. Okay, so boogienights.com and nights is N I G H T Z. Um, I do a little bit of everything, but I specifically focus on digital marketing and web development, um, branding, imaging, all of those good things, as well as makeup. I was, I'm a retired, I call myself a retired makeup artist. Even though sometimes, you know, people like Lakeisha won't let me retire. But <laughs> well, I'm sorry, Boogie, not to interrupt mm -hmm. you, but you know, um, were you listening to the show earlier? I wasn't. I'm sorry. I've been running around uh, all day. Because Boogie volunteered. I mean, um, Black um, volunteered you. I'm coming down there. My birthday is in on the 27th, but I'll be there on the 22nd. And she said that you were going to do my um, my face for free for my birthday. No, I didn't. <laughs> No, I did not. I just, I no, just want, I just want to let this put you off because I don't think she told you. Well, I mean, I'm gonna try. All, it, I'm trying. Black it. know better. <laughs> I don't. Well, I tried it. Do that. Okay, get ahead. Continue promoting. Can it? But, but you, you, you never know. You never no, know. No, you don't might I, be able you, to work somehow. You don't, you don't have to do it for free, but you know, I'll pay you. But maybe the love price. You know, okay. I really love her. I don't do that very she want, she want the birthday. She want the birthday special, boo. I want the she birthday, want the birthday special. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Let's yeah. let's go, birthday. Happy <laughs> early birthday. Thank let's you. See, you are a Scorpio. Libra? Yes. Huh? I'm a Scorpio. You're a Scorpio. Okay, my best friend is a Scorpio. Oh, you're you a Scorpio. Y'all not going to start this. Y'all <laughs> not going to start this. <laughs> We just had a whole Zodiac conversation. Listen, yeah. this is she my first time. She's coming to the party, so now she, yes. Your Wait best friend, what? Look, Hold you, on. you heard what you said? That your best friend in the whole wide world is a Scorpio. Aren't we lovely people? Yes, I love Scorpios. Now, let me now let me ask you this, y'all. Y'all may have to edit this out later. Baby, what is your name? My name is Fatima, Queen Fatima. Team. Fatima. Okay, so Black and Fatima. Yeah. Okay. I've seen your face before, but I'm terrible with names, so forgive me, okay? That was no, Barry, no none of that. You join, hold on, after she goes on, I'm sorry. I see our other guests um, joined in. We're going to um, let you come on after her, Barry, but you can sit there and wait and listen. Thank you. Right. Oh, so hey, Boogie. Barry. <laughs> Boogie, go ahead and tell them, you know, because Barry is going to come on, so we want to hear more about your business, and we want to see how we reach you. And tell, I told them how you did the Pretty Princess website, and that website is so adorable. How it was popping, I told oh. them how you consult, you know, with me on um, a lot for my business that you've been very pivotal. And, you know, we fuss at each other. We, ooh, me and Boogie. You know, I play the victim with her too. Boogie, you know, you be doing me wrong. and nah, 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 nah. Boogie, I ain't going to say nothing, but I huh? feel the pain. Boogie. You know, I get and every then conversation. I, I get on her and I fuss at her. I be like, look, bitch, you know you shouldn't be. But you know, I love Boogie because she has a beautiful, beautiful um creative mind and she is so professional. She puts the V in vision 
So I'm telling you, with, with The Pretty Princess, I had no idea what I was doing. I was just out there. And on came this sister that we met randomly. And, you know, we established. What he do it? You want to, can I tell him how we met? Yeah, go ahead. Tell him how we met. Me and Keisha met in line at the Family Dollar. Do you understand? <laughs> and, and she just started talking to you, right? That conversation. You know I did. No, I do remember. Because she had on some popping cheek highlighter. I was like, girl, what kind of highlighter is that? That's pretty. And she was like, that's my highlighter, boo. I sell makeup. I was like, really? I do makeup, girl. We got to work together. And then it just kind of built from there. She's been super, super sweet the whole time. Yes, yeah, she does call me and be like, boogie. Uh, man, we need to do pop, 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 pop. She be trying to give me that, that, that up north New York, you know what I'm saying, type of time. But I have to, you know, let her know. Listen, honey, I know you from up north. I respect your, you know, your, your, your up north attitude. And, you know, it's all love, but I'm from Houston. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> it's a great balance. We, we work together well. She inspires me all the time because her drive is crazy. And, and you know, she's the number one hustler. She, she is the she number one hustler. I'm a businesswoman. I'm not a hustler. Now, let me yes, you are. <laughs> Listen, you, know, you be out there trying to sell water to a well. I yes, should be like, Keisha, they don't need no water. They need <laughs> water. Like, <Yeah. laughs> Listen, no, she is an impeccable businesswoman from her music to her, her the, the, the passion that she has to inspire little girls to feel good and be confident. Young kings and young queens, like, I've seen her in action. She's super, super sweet, even with her own boys. Like, she's, she's a diamond. Thank you, queen. She's a diamond. I'm so proud of you, Keisha. Thank listen, you. I came kind of in the early stages, so I can say I'm really proud of you. Thank you. Um, you are growing as a businesswoman. The most important thing that you do when we do have conversations is you you listen and you peep game. Now you gotta have your own little trial and error phase, but you always come back to the drawing board to say, Boogie, you know what? Either I was right or or you'll tell me now nah, that was wrong. And that's cool because we, you know, we're learning and we're growing in business and marketing in the digital space together. And yeah, I'm super, super proud. Uh really quick. Boogie dot nights is my Instagram. B o o g i e dot n i g h t z. Um, you can go there and learn about me. Visit my website. Check out what I'm into as far as the marketing and you know the makeup Boogie side. Is great. Boogie is great because she does a lot of research. She researches everything and she gets um specific numbers, statistics, like anything that she offers to you and anything that she puts together is very specific. Like Boogie sends me a wealth of information and she's like, Lakeisha, no, you have to have this specific information. This is how they do it. This is the amount of numbers that they get because they did this and that. When it's about numbers and being about specific and doing things, you know, correctly because she has thoroughly researched stuff. So if you want somebody that's really, really effective, if you have a business and you need some consulting help and you want to learn about, you know, your genre of business or whatever, you don't have enough information, this young lady is a wealth of information. I have never met anybody more specific. One of our, one of our comments says Black people need to start speaking and starting up conversations with each other you never know what networking opportunities they said um, me and me, to make sure we put the black people while out unite we stand, we stand to divide it we fall that's the truth from a conversation on and um family dollar we're here <laughs> you understand you understand i was in there i don't know what i was buying but but god god knew was exactly what type of time we was on yeah why well, i wanted y'all to meet and love Yes, yes, yes. She, so. she builds amazing websites, all of that. So if y'all been to the Pretty Princess website, she did that. She updates it. She she's just wonderful, a wonderful talent. And mm, um, thank you, boo. Get, get with her if you need some insight on your business. If you start in a business, if you need a website for your business, she's a great web developer on so many platforms. So yeah. thank you, That's thank you, magic. thank you. Queens representing, yes. We yes. Do we do we have time to get the people one quick tip? This is on my spirit. Yeah. Because I feel like I meet a lot of people, especially you know, melanated people like us, and they don't know how to price their products. Okay. So this is a quick little formula that 
is standard in, in the business world, right? If you're starting out, whatever you pay for your product, like let's say Lakeisha's lip gloss, she, she may pay $10 for her lip gloss. Wholesale, right? The mm-hmm. wholesale price, if it's $10 wholesale, you mark it up times three. So it's $30 at regular price, okay? That's retail value, right? So you got to learn hotel, wholesale retail, mm-hmm. okay? So you take that $30. Now with that $30, you're going to make basically three times you're going to profit twenty dollars right that twenty dollar profit margin you got room you got wiggle room so now you take that that 10 that you spent on that lip gloss okay boom put it back you take that twenty dollars and you reinvest it and you buy more product let me ask you a question so you Mm -hmm. said that is um one of the tips that you give so about if you buy something wholesale if you buy it and you you market it for two times to- three times as much mm-hmm. as um do you think that that's the initial thing you should shoot for and if you see that the market is not demanding that like let's say you you know let's let's use a keisha for instance she buy lips lip gloss for 10 dollars mm-hmm. and she's selling for 30 mm-hmm. but when she was selling them for 30 she wasn't, you know, making that making as customers. And because everybody else is selling them for 20, um, maybe 22 it's or whatever. True. Do you think that's when they should regroup? Or, you know what I mean? Or b- before you even go out there and jump out the window and say, make it times three, maybe you should do your research and say, even though I, even though I, she may have paid $10 and you are giving advice to say mm-hmm. make it times three, but people are not buying lip glosses for $30. So I think, you don't think maybe they should do the research? Well, well. I was going to get there, right? So you I'm start jumping. high and go low. Okay. Yeah, you, you, you start high and go questions. low. That's, that's a beautiful question. So you start high and you go low. Just so because it's, to it's, a, it's a mental thing, right? So there's a lot of psychology in business. You in sales. What I'm saying? Well, in sales. In sales. And in sales. Like what I learned even just working at a retail store is they have specialists go in and they, they set the stores up a certain way to make you buy more. That's why you can't just go in buy, go in Walmart and get one thing and walk out unless you like a real strong willed person because they set the things that are in demand on the end to make you go buy, it, right? So with this, since we're in a digital space, okay, now your product is $30, but if I come to your site and I see, oh, this retail price is $30, but she got it for $25, I'm going to buy it because I feel like I'm saving. You understand right. what I'm saying? However, for for black the the seller, right? She's still making a fifteen dollar profit. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's that's your first little discount. Then okay. let's say you want to have a huh? oh, along with that. Somebody say you also have a have to have a low price product and a high price product. So Absolutely. So you can have that same thing. Well, well, this is the the high end, but this is the high end lip gloss. But we have. Right. Portable lip gloss too. That's like, hey. mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. exactly. So you want to have both so that you don't miss a sale, but you have to especially market the the product properly and say, hey, this is special because it's gonna give you the most beautiful lips in the world or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So from that thirty dollars, by the time it comes to Black Friday or Cyber Monday. You throw a 50% off sale, right? You're still making a $5 profit. So right. a lot of times we cheat ourselves because we, we never calculate the value of what we're spending on the product and what it should cost. You understand what I'm saying? It's just like, just like an interest rate when you go to a car lot. Like, they always going to make a profit. Like, ain't nobody selling stuff and, and, and not making and you know a profit who has business. You know, that, you know retailers and whoever selling stuff always use that line. I mean, I got to do this. If not, I'm, I'm giving it, and when they be like, I'm giving it to you for the price that I bought it for. You be like, no, you game. Know, well, you game. So that's, and, that's and, game in the sales world. You know, that's game. Yeah, game. Oh, yeah. Game. Yeah. game. I'm making no profit. That's the thing. Right. So hold on. So we're going to have our other guests come on soon, but I want you to, because um, people are saying send you their, 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 their direction. Could you um say your um site one more time, slow. And say your number as well, Boogie. So you know okay, they'll be able to out there. Facebook land, IG land, and um, to door land. Um, she's Boogie's gonna give her information again, slow, so y'all could get your pens ready. Okay. And no, you gave the number, Queen. I'll give the number too. 
Okay. No, I'm talking to Queen, my host. Oh. My co-host. You gave the phone number? After she gave her spell. Okay, okay. One number again. I may okay, have so, questions. Yeah, so my Instagram is at boogie, B-O-O-G-I-E dot nights with a Z. N-I-G-H-T-Z is in zebra. Um, you can most definitely hit me in the DM there. That's the best place to reach me, honestly. Um, you can also visit my website. It is boogienights.com. So it's B-O-O-G-I-E-N-I-G-H. Um, you can reach me on Facebook at Boogie Doyle, D-O-Y-L-E. And that's pretty much where I'm at. I'm on Twitter. I think on Twitter, I'm Boogie Digital. So, you know, I'm pretty much all over the place. And then you can, if you can't do none of that, you can Google be digital with boogie nights on google and you'll see my little knowledge base pop up and yes it's been a pleasure ladies thank y'all so much thanks for, thanks we for coming you. on our show we appreciate you and um we wish you all the best of luck and everything yes. you're doing well you yes. get to see her when you come down because me and boogie got some big stuff popping next week. big things popping yes okay so look when i'm coming back on I like this. This is the women empowerment. She the girls talk. It and she ready to come back. <laughs> listen, listen. You always hook your next deal before you leave the building. You know, look don't her. play. See, look at her. She working. Boogie yes. be on it. I'm telling you. Yes. She working us. Yes. Listen. Well, Queen, you know you're gonna be on here. We getting ready to pop off. So when Queen yeah. come down, we and then you and I, we got some. You know, we got a big move that we getting ready to bust. So. So, hold on, Keisha. Um, 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 I'm having a, uh, a a celebration for me, so you could pull up, and we're gonna be on the air and all that. So, Ooh, girl, y'all wearing masks and stuff. Yeah, of course. Cool, I'm there. As long as well, you know, we we, we, we social distance. Mm -hmm. I was about to say, I thought Atlanta wasn't following no rules. No, you wear masks and stuff out here. It's just not mandatory in certain areas, you know. Listen, I'm not playing. I y'all don't understand how many vitamins and herbs well, and I, stuff I, I've been taking. You know, we spent thousand dollars on them too. <laughs> okay. So I, yeah. Thank you, right. Bucky. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, Queen. Thank you, Black. I All right, you. boo. We talk right. to you later. Okay. Have a great right. night. Love Thank and you light. Coming in. Bye -bye. All right. Thank you. Uh, okay. Let me tell them they could join now. Okay, guys. So for the moment, y'all been waiting for now <laughs> 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 we got b b berry on here and we're gonna have twain on here we, berry's connecting right now and twain, very good you know what i'm saying he got bars you know what i'm saying one very two. good in the whip right now hey what's up b unmute your phone he all talking cool and shit we don't hear you unmute your phone <laughs> I'm unmuted now. All right, there you go. Brother. Salute, ladies. What's good? We're happy to hear, have you on. Oh, the other the other male, the other king is I'm joining now, too. All right, we're getting it popping. So, so the playing field is, is, is even right now. It's not a whole bunch of, you know, vaginas on. <laughs> So Done. Well, before we have our Done. open um, conversation, we're going to let Barry Goods introduce himself because he's also a black entrepreneur that has his own um, clothing line. So take it away, Barry. Tell us about your um, clothing line. Um, I'm, I'm doing, I have a clothing line called Classically Branded. Um, okay. I guess uh, with, with, in order to get a look on it for yourself, you could go to Instagram and just type in uh, Classically Branded 2019. You spell Classically Branded, C-L-A-S-S-I-C-L-Y, and Branded 2019. Okay. Um, what inspired you to do that, that name? Um, what is, uh, the story, what happened was I, was, I was, I got a homeboy that came home like three years ago. His, uh, my homeboy came home for doing like 30 plus years. So when he came home, they, um, you know, people got together. They threw him a big celebration. It was a big celebration. So when they threw it, it was up in, we was up in Harlem somewhere at, um, at the celebration they threw for him. And when there were so many people that showed up 
to embrace this brother being home, right? It was mm-hmm. like, you know how you know how you know people from the street, you didn't see them in years, and then all of a sudden you at this gathering and they all showed up. And you're like, wow, I didn't see this person in 10 points or 20. There was a lot of classic people who was ah. in real money popped up at this event. So we all took these pictures, we all took these big classic pictures. And what and after I took the picture, I had a whole bunch of pictures in my phone. And you know how you got the app in your phone where you could draw on the picture, you could write whatever you want in the picture. So when I was mm-hmm. looking at the picture, I went to write, I started to damn, what can I write on this picture? And I said, yo, this is a classic picture. So I wrote classic, a classic, a classic look or something. Like I wrote classic something, you hear me? And the writing was so dope for the image yeah. that the picture was that the 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 the, 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 the word classically just stayed in my mind. So the next, like two days later, the shit was still on my mind that I went and just imprinted the word classically branded because I still kept a look at the picture and the writing was so dope. And then for, for the moment, what the picture was, that I went and imprinted the name and I ran with it ever since. So everything is, you know, I started designing things around the world classically, you know? Right. Well, that sounds good. That's amazing. Y'all bear with me because I lost the Instagram. Mm-hmm. But y'all can talk. We love your story. Okay, yes, yeah, yeah, B. So that that's a good look. So what is the what is the brand you know consist of right now? What 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 is, what's kind of pieces you have like just um men's uh, t shirts or uh, you know hoodies? What you got on the line right now? Let me tell you, something. I do. I did a dope shower curtain for somebody recently. You hear me? I do um uh, um some of everything that you have an idea for. I do sweatsuits. I do. Hats, I do t-shirts, sweaters, hoodies, uh um uh, 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 jargons on uh, um when women um you know skin tight jargon suits, all that. There's there's no okay. limitation to what I could do. All right, so you got a, a wide variety. I have of a wide apparel. variety and I do it all in-house. Another if you give me an order right now, it'll be done before mm-hmm. the night. I'm a night hour. I, I, uh, um somebody give me an order <laughs> today, it'll be done you by the morning. Stay up working, huh? Yeah, cause I um I have all the equipment in in house, so I don't I don't out outsource anything. I have everything. What in was there. that T-shirt you made for me? What did it say? Remember you made the T-shirt. You ordered so many, so I don't even know what yours say. You just oh. come up with with with, with, with sayings. Mm-hmm. And, and she, and she she get the home girl discount. It's never it's never full price. I always get spoken down to the home girl discount. With this. <laughs> Yeah, she she a hardcore negotiator, boy. Yeah, yeah. Pocket full of money too. Yeah, listen, you mean, if you want, I just heard, you said, I just heard the other you get my makeup done for free just now. <laughs> I just heard the other lady say that. I just heard the other lady say about you know how you how you put the price your stuff. I could never price myself with her. She get she gets what I pay for it. Because you know how you say <laughs> they people don't. That's no. a lie. They uh, they. Yo, the, the, the she the gets what I pay for. No, it. she. I ain't gonna lie. Since you be since you be fair to me, every piece of makeup you bought outright. Thank you for that. Thank thank, thank you, you sis. Because he's yeah, trying he to is. um discredit me. I'm trying to discredit. I'm just saying. I'm just saying what the bond is. I'm trying to get over. That ain't true. I didn't say you try to get over. I'm just saying. Good God, Barry. She look. She. You see yeah, how she doing that? Oh she be doing all this and that. That's why. Yeah, you know how it is. <laughs> when the guys come, I be like, listen, I'm a lady. You know, I'm. A, you know, I like the role play. I, I, I just be feeling like a man is supposed to do something. This and I take that to a whole nother level with everything. I be like, yeah, Barry, let me, be free. Let, I'm let a me girl. Just, <laughs> let me just add on. Remember, remember. I'm a jack of all trades. I don't just do clothes. I do some everything. So this woman here has gotten the the the, the homeboy discount across the board. You my driver. <laughs> As I, your your painter, your 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 your, your stainer. All those came with <laughs> He said painter and stainer. You got to stain the wood and paint the house. Huh? Yeah. Listen, listen. This For is nothing. why. So that's the whole good this discount. Is, this is why I say that he's one of my favorite guys. What? You don't mm. get that. You don't get that title for nothing. And they don't make them like that no more, right. Queen. So good, Barry. We appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? But tell where us how are you. Yeah. Uh-huh. Twain, where are you? I I'm see right that there, man. Can you hear me? Oh, hey, Twain. You over there, quiet. Hey. Goods, how do they reach you? How do they get some of that apparel though? How do hold we on, get hold on? Twain have a technical difficulties. You gotta um you have to connect with your video. 
because we don't see you. Okay, how do Tell I do that? Tell me press the bottle. Yo, bro, press the bottle. There you go. All right. All right, good looking. Oh, we don't see him no more. Oh, yeah, that's him. Okay. I'm right here. What are you talking okay, about? I got you. I got you. Hey, How y'all doing? Hey, hey. Salute to the I like that, kid. I like that, the family. I like that. Yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Y'all yeah, coming my, in here. Y'all coming on Thick Girls with y'all bl- Brooklyn um, um swag. Got y'all a little fitted on, like how y'all Brooklyn girl guys wear it. We see you. We see y'all. Yeah, I see. Okay, it's all good. I see. You know, I ain't seen nothing like this in ages, so I'm getting all my looks in. Like. Here you go. So I get you black, black is I'm a serious. Thing. I'm in the A, so I don't see it. Oh, yeah. yeah you, you do down there with the tight fitteds. <laughs> yeah, you know. They got on... Uh, the they got on Balenciaga and the Little Wayne's and shit. Gotcha. <laughs> shout, shout out to all the guys in Atlanta that's listening. Come on, y'all. What y'all doing? Y'all can't be saying that. I'm sorry, y'all. All my shorties. I know y'all got on them skateboard jeans and Alexander McQueen's and Bitch, the Bitch, the Bean, the Bitch, the Bitch, the Bean. Let me start. <laughs> Listen, which brings us into our topic about, you know, the the um the men that's out here now and this cowboy culture and everything we talk about a lot of stuff on Big Girls Radio and then we talk about a lot of stuff behind the scenes like uh Barry and Twain I'll be on the phone with them for hours talking shit and we talk shit back or whatever so we decided to bring this bring this to the um radio because we have good conversation. And you know they don't always agree with me, which is fine because I don't um, I don't want anybody to always agree with me. But I think the first person <laughs> that the on the um um the board is Mr. Berry. He disappointed me the other day. And yo, <laughs> it's funny you said that. Let me let me let me just say I got a diss track coming at you in a couple of days. You know what I mean? I'm just letting you know that. You gonna drop sixteen bars? I don't have. You I don't came at you about. Me? About 64 bars coming at you, being mad at 64 me with this sort of bars. situation. I got you, Queen. I got you. So let me come with it. You Hold on. I, let me get my back. back right now. I, look. We clapping I, back. Don't make, don't make me get in the studio. I got my mic. Shut up. Oh, look, look. The mic that he bought me. <laughs> the mic that, oh, you going to clap back on the mic he bought you. Lord, Yo, Barry, why am I going to use the mic that you bought me to motherfucker write a diss track to your ass? <laughs> this is look. This goes right back to what he's saying that he's my guy for everything. The man that bought me, he even bought this mic right here. Lord have mercy. But yeah, I was disappointed on him. So last show we was talking about the whole Tory the Megan um situation, and I said I got into it with one of my good friends. Where everybody, right. this is one of my good. This is the one of the good friends I was talking about. That motherfucker was so mad he told me to delete him. Uh, <laughs> hey no, 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 let's let's backtrack. What happened is she got at me, she said, Bro, what the fuck is your problem posting this motherfucker like this? What you supporting that bullshit? And I was like, damn. I apologize. Did I say I apologize? I no. said I apologize, but I did so. You better go back and check those. Days. I said, but listen, that most high track is me. I was just phenomenally thrown off on how dope the track was. I, I besides, hey, I don't condone what he did. I don't condone none of the nonsense, but that was a dope joint. And not just that, it's not, like I said, you know, my, my boy, my son is riding on him hard. So I, I ride with my, with my set, but what, I, what, what, what I will say, speaking on, I don't jump into a bandwagon just because everybody else is saying such set. It's just that I, I, in a sense, could understand what happened. And, and oh, I'm not justifying. Listen, 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 listen. I'm not justifying what happened. I'm not doing that. But I know it's a two-part situation, and I'm not gonna just going to throw him under the bus as if he's no good. I, I, I want to throw them pedophiles out. I want to stop y'all from playing R. Kelly. You know, I want to come to y'all and you playing R. Kelly, but yet you mad at Tory. Yeah. Oh, I was mad at. I don't, want, I don't want to come to your house. I don't want to come to your house. You playing Michael Jackson and you mad at Tory. <laughs> Stop. I don't hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it now. And, and, and you, play, you, play, you play Snoop Dogg, who called bitches bitches all day long, and, and you mad at four. <laughs> Did he just say, who called bitches bitches? <laughs> I, I don't want so I don't want I, I don't want you Did you just I don't want you I don't want you to be mad at me, but you still like Eddie Murphy, even though he shot motherfucker Vera in the pinky toe 
Oh, how, how hard am I, Jeremy? Don't be, you know, so you can't pick who you want to be mad at then, yes, then be upset with me. I be mad at all of those motherfuckers. You got okay. Tisha, my other phone, I had to log on with my other phone so I can't read the comments. It's coming up. You gotta you um do you have your laptop or something that you can read the comments on Facebook? I see they coming up, but I can't because I'm using my um, I'm trying to understand. It's what, not showing the comments on my cell phone either. It's popping up, but I can't read them. Okay. Yeah, mine's are not showing any. I'm trying okay. to so with that said, you know she's gonna be hitting me down to buy her another piece of equipment so she can see this shit. <laughs> <laughs> what you were saying, Swain? Now I was trying to understand, like, what, what, what was the viewpoint of Tory Lanez? Like, what was his viewpoint on Tory Lanez's situation? What he thought happened? What transpired? Yeah. Hey, bro, let me tell you. What happened was, you know he dropped that most high. When he dropped it, he dropped a small clipping of it. And the small clipping of, of what he dropped, you know, as you know, as a fan of music, when you hear something dope, it's spot, despite who it's coming from, you know, it still captured you with dope. You kind of low. You don't, you don't, you don't try to, you know, your, your opinion of other views probably don't, don't always come into play until afterward. So when I saw the clipping, it was so phenomenal. I said, damn, I had to post it, you know? And she mm -hmm. immediately checked me, which was understand. That's what your friend's supposed to do. They're supposed to check when they feel you going, you going left on something. So I understood it. But she went so left on me that she forgot the rules of, so, of social media, which is if you don't like what I post, then don't follow me. You hear me? No, that's not, not the rules. Hard on me. That's not the rules. That and is the rule. They said you don't like what's on my page, then unfollow my page. No, 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 Twain. I, I can not be up there if you don't want nobody to comment on it. That's the whole, the whole I, purpose. I, I no, know. no, no. I understood that, but she No, no, you did not said the rules of Facebook, I mean, of social media, that's not the rules. If that was the case, then there wouldn't be no shade room or none of that. Once you put it out there on social media, that means that you are um, a welcoming people to agree or to disagree. So the moment that somebody disagrees with you, you can't get mad and be like, you can unfollow me. Like, that, no. I, I don't even believe you said that. I said, I know what I could do, but I'm not. You know what? And, and if I you unfollow you, we still friends you know in what? real life. So I will call you up in on real life. And, and, and no. Let me tell y'all. Let's go back to black and white. Let's look at the let's get the tell in black and white the conversation because it didn't get to that point. So she kept on like you better like you need to take this down. And that was where it no, came I to that point. You need to take this down. I said I'm very disappointed that you supporting and promoting something a man like that in the middle of a situation like that. I ain't right, we, take it down. I just was telling you how disappointed I am of you for even um promoting that. All right, read all of it. Don't start from there. You got to start from the top that led up to that conversation. Listen, I know what I said. Go read it. I said, read it I st I'm, trying to I'm trying to connect it to it so we can see the comments that people saying. I, um, damn it. Won't me personally, I don't respect Tony Lane let me see on no level. Let my, let my, that's let not my the boy Twain speak because he, he, he's been in the I don't respect Tony Lane on no level because that's not the first time he got into a situation with a female. I think homeboy has a Napoleon complex. I think he has he's an alcoholic and do a lot of drugs and he got this feeling. Mm -hmm. Whatever reason, he pulled his pistol and shot homegirl on the fucking ankle. So, I mean, I, I feel you what you said in R. Kelly and Michael Jackson as well. I, I don't like selective um, opinions about the same situation. So I don't bump no R. Kelly. I don't bump no Michael Jackson. I mean, R.I.P. Michael and, you know, stay in prison, R. Kelly, but I don't fuck with them either like that. Yeah. But, you know, he shot this girl in the foot. I mean, she's a victim. No matter which way you want to slice it or dice it. And we have to look at that from that angle. Like, she got shot. Like, if that was your sister, her sister, her sister, my sister, we would all be up and on ready to retaliate on a whole nother level. But, you know, it, it's, we got to stop giving these celebrities certain types of passes. You know what I'm saying? Pass. Those people put yeah. their pants on. Mm -hmm. We put our pants on. And at the end of the day, they human beings. Shit happens. She definitely happens out there, you, you know. I don't respect it. And, 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 and to piggyback on um, my boy, um, my son, it's a, a hashtag the coward culture. We cannot, and that's what I was saying. You got to stay sucker free. I was very, very disappointed at Barry because I know he is a stand up dude. For you to even be promoting some sucker shit like that, I, it really took me by shock. Well, I don't think Barry promoted no sucker shit. I mean, he's the track was dope. 
And, you know, he felt that he wanted, you know, he, he got into what the track was and then he realized, okay, let me get back to my regular schedule program and I don't no, really no, fuck no. with that like that. He said, you know what I mean? But it happened to happen anyway. Sway, Sway, let me tell well, you. Well, listen, I'm just going to what he just said. I'm ahead of it. So what, what he, or we could go back to what you just said. You, he said he didn't understand the situation because it's two sides and all that. You know what he said underneath the comment? He said, I know how, we all know how it is because sometimes y'all yeah, women be making you, I mean, uh, making you feel like you want to shoot you in the foot. I said, I never knew a man that wanted to shoot a woman in the foot. You know we don't do that. Like, I, I'll put it to you like this. There Mr. is a good. You quiet right now. Uh, you listen. If men want to be honest, they'll tell you they definitely want to shoot you, especially you. I know <laughs> you don't have a lot of dudes in your life oh, that want dang. to shoot you in the hip. Not just the Well, fight. you know what? Uh, uh, you that, that has to be true because I know a couple of guys I want to shoot in, a, in another place. So and I'll keep you back on for that. I'm going to keep it 100. But, you know. Actually doing that and want to do that is two different things. No, no, no. We yeah, but you know, God said if it's in your right. mind and you know, you, he you want, already did it. I say especially me that somebody would want to shoot me in the foot. Did you just say that, friend? He, 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 said, he said it. He said it. I don't know. I don't know you in that aspect. So he might know you in a different aspect where your mouth exactly. is reckless. He don't know. So, he okay, that's the in my foot. Don't say stuff like but that. No, but that's fair. He, that's how you might. He's right. So there are people that we want to. You know, you want to do some things. But he's being honest. He's being honest. There, well, there's 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 I got you next time I see you, B. I got you. I'm going to give you an example like this. Every time you walk in the bank, head? right, you will deposit the money to the bank. You see there, all that money behind that register. You want to, you want all that money out the bank. But do you back your hammer out and say, you know what, give me all the money in the bank? No, you <laughs> use better judgment. Not yeah, doing absolutely. it. Absolutely. I agree to yeah. and, right. and that's where Corey Lane's losses. Um, um, the same thing with Chris Brown and Rihanna. They tough yeah. in the fucking in the in the in the limo like Ike and Tina, where he beat right. up and you. She flipping, pull us over, let me out. I catch the next car behind. It says we percussion behind certain shit. You know what I'm saying, and right. that's where a lot of so self control comes into uh, into effect. And a lot of these people with their big heads and their egos and their celebrity, they lose track of self control. They don't have it, and us they do. give them a pass. Straight like that. But you know, I me personally, I don't like I'm a I'm a different type of dude. I don't find somebody nobody else drum. I speak as a man. I I really the very first speak as his own man. You know, Queen Black is your own woman. I mean, I'm sorry, Queen, as your own woman, Black is your own woman. And this is the reason why I don't go with trends. I don't go with where everybody else say go. I just take my time, assess the situation. And make my own judgment from it. You know what I'm saying? Now, 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 bro. Now, see what oh. you said. See, you said you said you don't jump on bandwagon. You kind of taking the information and assess it for yourself without the bandwagon yeah. part of it. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. the same. That's what happened with me. I don't jump on a bandwagon onto things because it's what. Then, because now I'm not being an independent thinker. You're not allowing me to be an independent thinker. So if I can't be independently think for myself, then what? Who? What type of man am I? You're if right. I can't think for myself. So with that said, I took the burden of that said that she was right. Well, you know, at the end of the day, she was right. I shouldn't been promoting that. I, no, I would no, put no, that no, on the table. Say that louder. You hear me? He said I should not have been promoting that. So that's that's right in the standard. But what I'm trying to say is my independent thinking is when I heard the trap because I'm a fan of music. I'm a fan of wow. hip hop. I'm a fan of what what he said in his entirety because remember you got three sides of a situation you got his side her side and then the truth stop stop don't give me a face i'm saying you got his side her side and the truth now what both That's sides have been put on the table I'm, just, listen, I'm, I'm not i'm not i'm not saying i'm not debating what that what i'm trying to say is when he put his side in a lyrical form it came out so dope as a fan of hip-hop the way he worded that and commercialized it and made it seem like he won me over with that aspect. But once you check me and I realized that I, matter of fact, I didn't never not realize what he done. I'm not saying that. I don't condone that shit because I don't do that shit. And I'm not with that nonsense, you hear me? 
But as a kid, I did whip a bitch ass before. You hear me? But that's what you do as kid. So this dude is a kid to us. He's a kid who got into the music game, got a whole bunch of money, egos. He got people flocking him, all type of shit. He was drunk. He was high. She was drunk high. You don't know what happened when all parties are sitting in the situation drunk and high. But again, that's not justification. I'm just saying that I understand what a situation could look like. So as a fan of what he did, I would just jump over like, wow, I can't believe that he worded that and made me kind of see his side of the view briefly. So let me, ask, day, you, let me ask you a question. Not. Hold yes. on. Let me ask you a question. As Let's say <clears throat> a child molester um, right. that, um, made a, a song talking about how he molests kids. And he no, 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 no. Two different stories. Two different stories. No, I'm not going to let you do that. I'm not going to let you do that. Not, not Why with you a child molester. You're having a joke conversation. Hey. I did not interrupt you. You can't interrupt me. Okay, you're right. Okay. Now I said now if a child molester make if they are artists and they make a song and they lyrically put it or whatever, you won't no. promote that? So no. it is it, or is it you you know how it looks uh, it feels as a black woman that a black woman being shot is not that important to you. So you will still promote that man even though he just shot a black woman. If it was a kid, if it, if somebody molested a kid and they made a song about it, you wouldn't promote that. So why are you promoting this man that just got that just shot a black woman? Well, that, you know, that, that's, again, that's a whole nother part of the conversation right. to get a lot more heavy and a lot more intense than everybody. Because, you know, I, I, I love black women. I love all of y'all. And, you know, I think there is a, a real disconnect between black men and black women. I have a bunch of female um, friends. A lot of, most of them are just drop dead gorgeous. And they're all going through a bunch of bullshit with these black brothers. And, you know, me being a single black man is like, Damn, I can't be in thirty thousand places at one time. I wish I wish I could. There's a lot of single black ladies out there, but I can't. And I just need our brothers. We got to step the fuck up and understand that we definitely need these ladies and 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 you know treating them as second class citizens. To anybody else is bullshit. You know what I'm saying it. It really is. It's it, it's becoming pathetic. It's becoming to a point where we subconsciously don't realize we're doing it. You know what I'm saying we don't even realize we're doing it. And you know we could come up with all types of excuses. What She's a pain in the ass. She just got the attitude, but whatever you want to come up with. But that issue, those issues, still, you know, go in other races as well, and other cultures as well. So it's, it's, you know, you damn if you do, you damn if you don't. But you gotta, we as men, you know, what I'm saying, has to respect and and, and and nurture and cherish these women because, you know, it's getting it's getting out of hand out here. It really is. And you know, and I'm not gonna um say that you know I'm a perfect guy and I never flipped on a female or that this that and the third. So then I'll be bullshitting you and bullshitting myself. There's certain things right. that I'm not doing. You know what I'm saying? There's literally certain things that I'm not doing, certain things I'm not condoning, certain things I'm not even accepting, period, from the people. Like, it's, it's, I'm 46 years old. I'm not a child on no level. You know what I'm saying? And certain child behavior, I don't even, it's just beyond me. It's just, be, it's becoming, to a, I guess I'm the old guy. I feel like the old guy in the room, well, not in this particular room, but in any room, is like, I'm just sick of just childish behavior. It, it just annoying and you know we have issues going on in our world right what now you, what you said Twain, to me Twain, huh? what you said to me you what? don't indulge in certain level of stupidity yeah, when you like yeah certain, certain conversations i'm not even going he right. see the comments he sees certain shit and we'll talk about it and he said i refuse to i refuse to even get right. in it because, because it, it, certain it level of stupidity i'm not going to entertain <laughs> you mean? same here that's his yeah. Same here. You know what I mean? Hold on. Knocked out. Yo, give me one second. Uh, so, hello? I'm back. Somebody tried to call me. But, um, you can hear me? Yeah, we hear yeah. you. Yeah, we hear you. Oh. Uh, no, I'm just saying. Guys, just that's all I'm just saying. I can leave comments now. I just, I just disconnected the um IG so I can read the comments on um Instagram. So, go ahead. You know, that's all. And, you know, me, personally, like I said, it's we got to come together as on a whole from top to bottom as brothers and sisters and understand, listen, we got to respect one another on all types of levels. Like, you got your mm-hmm. business. They got their thing going on. I don't have no business right now, but, you know, I, I support all the businesses. And that's just that. But, you know, it, it's, it's just getting crazy out here, us, man. It really mm-hmm. is, y'all. It really mm-hmm. is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, and, um, it has gotten think, crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, and it's that, getting crazier that, about a day with incidents like this, you know, because like, like you guys were saying, okay, he was drinking. It was a certain type of atmosphere, whatever. But like Twain was saying, we are adults at the end of the day. We, we supposed to govern ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Responsible. Accountability. Right. I don't care how much I was drinking. I have to be responsible enough to know that I shouldn't drink or make any type of decision that would jeopardize any other, you know, human being's well-being. And he should he should have known that. So, and so many other men and women should as well. But I hate the fact that, you know, women get the blame all right. the time. The way they drag her. Right. So it's really it's really a bad place because black women we can't even be a victim. You know, we don't we don't have room for any mistakes. It's like the whole world is judging us and it's almost like if you're if you're black men uh, against you, then in the rest of the world, who do you have, you know, to turn to? And you what know, is so sad is to? that you know, even with that being said, um, we be the first one to defend them. We be the first one, you know. Yes. Yeah. They go to bed. Down when shit goes I, down. I give you the example of um, Diddy. 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 What's the uh, what's his wife? Diddy. That just passed away. Um, Kim Porter and Diddy. Kim Porter. Right? Yeah. Kim Porter and Diddy, right? Like, Diddy was fucking with Kim Porter, whatever, whatever. Diddy stopped fucking with Kim Porter, started fucking with J Lo. He went to the Latin community, started fucking with J Lo. Mm -hmm. Shot spring out in the spot. J Lo never went black again. J Lo started fucking with a dancer, <laughs> a backup dancer, after Diddy just to go black again. Ben Affleck, another Latin dude, A Rod, yeah. uh, she never went back yeah. to black. Kim Porter embraced Diddy with open arms. Come on home, Papa. You know what I'm saying? Diddy said, he just went back home, played nice for a little bit. Got him a young thing, which was the other girl, Cassie. She wanted a whole type of situation. He wasn't willing to give her that. This stuff, she broke out and got that whole other situation with somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Kim Porter, I guess, got sick of it. Talk about it. Opinion. Talk about it, Twain. Mm -hmm. My personal opinion, the shit that the drug abuse, the type of shit mm -hmm. she put through dealing with that knucklehead, led to yeah. her death. But that, nobody's willing to talk about that. When you speak like that, Motherfuckers don't want to hear you. You know what I'm saying? They want. They want to hear the, the other preaching, boys. brother. You telling the truth? Diddy, you, you was this. You was that. That's Diddy. That. Fuck you, Diddy. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. and you know that's how I feel about the situation. You know what I'm saying? And you know, real talk. But you know, at the same breath, and no disrespect to the ladies, y'all got to start g checking these dudes. If the dude ain't holding this a certain way, why he getting all the benefit? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. why, you know, I heard a young dude told me before. He said, "Yo, Dino." Why should I go out there and go get myself together, get a guard job? I got money in my pocket. I sit out here and smoke my weed all day and fuck the same girls you can fuck. And I said, oh, shit. And I think about that for a second. Okay, go on, man. <laughs> like, oh, that makes a little bit of sense to me. He's sitting out here getting the same type of loving I'm getting from the same type of women. He ain't going nowhere with the jury. He got, you know, he got a play as Blancy Eagle on his feet or whatever. He ain't getting him the same good old piece of tail. Women is settling mm -hmm. this knucklehead bullshit. You know what I'm saying? You're right. If you, if you got your shit together, it seems like they want you, they scared that, you know what, I got to level up. No, you definitely got to level up. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You definitely got to level up. And if you don't so level up, you shouldn't be getting certain shit. This brings us to the conversation that you and I and um, Black Hat on, on um, the three-way, you know? Mm -hmm. Sometimes we as women, that strong, independent, you know, boss chicks that doing our own thing, that's single, we beat ourselves up sometimes, like, yo, what's the problem? Maybe it's us. You know, then we got people like Twain in our life that's saying, no, it's not y'all. The game, y'all ain't bugging. The game is fucked up. It's a lot of fucked up guys out of here. I mean, out here. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you, you gave us the 85, what you said, the 85, um, 15% rule mm -hmm. thing that you have? Mm -hmm. We said we're part of the 15%, and, you know, no, stand, stand 10 tools on what we believe in and what we want, and don't be, you know, you know, compromising and thinking oh, that. Well, I still do. Because without, let me say this. It was so refreshing talking to him, right, Black? I want, I want yes. to say to all the listeners out there. Absolutely. Man and woman, if you do not have a strong woman foundation in your community, your community will not thrive. Point blank, period. I don't give a fuck how much money you got, how many bitches you got, how much bossing you think you're doing. If the woman in your corner is not strong, you cannot pull none of that off. Not none of it. Not near a bit of it. I mean, I mean strong when she understands what you're going through. She's there 
comfort. There's a lot of levels of strong. Solid. Strong. You, if you don't have a solid woman in your on your on your side, you ain't yep. gonna go but so far. Not not to go biblical on y'all, but you know the Bible says a man who finds a good wife, he finds a, a who finds a wife, he finds a good thing, and that's for a reason. Even yeah. God telling you. You and now, you okay, woman. not to only not to only speak it on the um on the biblical form. Everybody know that I was born and I was raised Muslim. Even in the Quran, they say half of your deen is getting married. So they know yes. that you you know you are supposed to get married. Well, I'm I'm gonna give it to you like this. I'm gonna put it to you like as far as the marriage though. If you don't find somebody worthy of your kingdom, you just don't settle because it's fact that it was what you're supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? That's just my opinion. Like, there's a lot of situations with a lot of people that you can come across and you trying to go up this way and they're not trying to go there. I'm not married just because I love you. We need to be on the same type of time, same type of page, et cetera, et cetera. You know what I'm saying? And um, that's just that. But, like I said, we do got to hold each other accountable. We definitely got to make sure we check everybody left and right. Like, I can't sit there and say, yo, yo, you see me slipping out there, yo, 20, what the fuck you doing? Like, yo, bro, shit together, you're slipping. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's the and problem. Person, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's the problem that we're in this culture of, you know, everybody, everybody wants smoke blown up their ass. And they want everybody to applaud them. Yeah. And the moment that you yeah. say something constructive, then motherfuckers is mad at you, don't want to speak to you, oh, saying you hating and all that. You, you yeah, can That's called the Kumbaya That's the Kumbaya culture. And if we friends or we family or whatever, you see, like, I, 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 I actually do not like nobody disagreeing with me. I respect no. the difference of opinion. I want, I, I, you know, I- You mean you don't like that people just always agree with you, right? Yeah, I don't like mean. when people just agree with me. You know, I want to hear, I want to see, or well, make it make sense to me. Maybe I'm looking at it at a wrong, at a, on the wrong angle. But what I right. don't like is ignorance. When you start talking ignorant and what you're saying is absolutely not making sense, then, then that's when I get bored with the conversation. But if you don't agree with me, so I do. If you don't agree with me, I want you to say you don't agree with me. I don't. I right. hate people. You know, what I mean, I don't want nobody around me that's going to agree with because you ain't gonna grow like that. If you the smartest person around you, or you the strongest person around you, or you the person, you know, you the person that nobody can't tell nothing to, how are you growing as a person? May I ask something on the table real quick? Sure. Let me just say this: the 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 the. the the best advice that, if you can remember, if, if, some, if somehow y'all can connect to what I'm about to say, the best advice that you get from a person is, is from an elder. Like when you speak with your grandfather, you speak with your grandmother, you ever notice how when they gave you some type of wisdom, you actually took it in its entirety? You know why you, you took it? It's because the tone. Your grandmother would tell you something with a tone. She didn't mm -hmm. speak at you. She didn't speak above you. She spoke to you and felt you felt her tone in your soul. So you took whatever she said or grandpa said as salad because their tone to you hit your soul. And they took the advice and you ran the advice. Today, when you get advice from the people, you have people talking at you. And so, you know, you forgot, like, we're, we're, we're both adults, and when you're talking to another adult, if the tone and the body language is not to a certain degree, it's not going to pass over as correctly as it should be. And now, the, oh, no, the, 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 listen, uh, you ain't got to agree. I'm just saying, hear me, because, you know, there's other people that may agree. You have women today. Yeah, I mean, I'm talking from a black man's perspective. You have women today. The game, they have they have put y'all in such a situation, but now y'all act just like men. So when you run into a man that you're dealing with or a man that you just have a rapport with, you have became like him in the whole mannerism of of, 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 of of talking at him instead of to him. So sometimes when you talk at a person, a person is not going to take, going to take what you're saying as, as valid as it is because you're talking at them. You have to put that tone in your voice and put that whole tone in your aura when you're relating that message as your grandma and your grandpa did that makes it stick and, set and, 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 and well, stay I'm home. I don't know about your grandmother, but my grandmother spoke in different tones. There's well, three grandmothers, and this is sometimes but, with but, baby. But, but, and then but, are you speaking in regards to men only? You mean, and that's or, what I was getting ready to do. I was like, so it's okay for a man to come at you, and, I mean, speak to you? 
I, this is the problem that we have. It seems like you think that women have a certain place and they can't relate. No, 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 like no, 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 no. I didn't. I didn't, I didn't but I respect what you're saying too, Barry. He's saying no. that if we are communicating, we shouldn't be communicating at a level where we're talking at each other. But exactly. we should be talking to each other right. and you know reciprocate in the same respect to right. one another. Imagine, imagine, so I'm, not, I'm, not, imagine I'm not listen, listen, so I'm not talking on it I'm, as a woman perspective because he said these women are acting like dudes now. Well, no, oh, yeah, most most women are acting like dudes. That that what acting like a dude? Listen, oh, he said more aggressive, I'm more first, you know, say, more. You feel, like like there's a way that you have to continue to still. Be a woman like that. for me, like me. I'm a cancer, right? I, I am, I, I am analytical. I won't say nothing until I don't thought about it. I can It kind of lays with me for a good while before I respond. Yeah, you know I mean? because that means I gave it all critical thinking and everything. I went through the whole critical aspect of it before I respond. So, so I take everything literally, and I take it, and I, and I, and, I, and you know, and don't. so what I'm trying to say is that I'm not, I'm not saying all women. I'm just saying, I know I know guys who are in relationship with women, and I hear how they women talk to them, and they wonder why when he walk out the door, it's like he didn't hear damn words she said because she was talking. She forgot how to be a woman. Like, hey, babe, you tripping? You slipping? I just need to get together. You know what I mean? I'm still here. You know, y'all, they, they forgot the things. And if you're not willing to compromise and understand that, then that's why we all running around here in multiple relationships. That's why we all running oh, around here and single. Know. That's why we all, that's why we all don't but have that's partners. That's our fault that you have a, that's No, you no, no, I didn't, see, see, you see, there you go. I didn't say nothing about fault. What I'm trying to say is we have to all play our part. You hear me? I mean, in fact, you know what? I'm going to go, I'm going to go even deeper. Are you in a relationship right now? That doesn't matter. Men have to no, make, no, cultivate. No, 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 men, no, men, no, men, no, let no, me talk. No, I'll let you no, talk. No, no, men have to cultivate. Men have to know how to be a little bit more sensitive as well. They have to understand, you you know, that being a man is more is more to being a man than the ego. Okay, ego ego is a big factor with you, gentlemen. And now now more and more, since men are feeling like they're getting more money, they're attaining more materialistic things. They tend to attribute that. There's no money out here. There's no money out here, so dudes do not feel like that. Let me finish. You said your piece. You said your piece. Men attribute more value to their materialistic things than they do to some of us women. So it's not all on us. So then we get frustrated because we're tired of you boasting and bragging and we have to feed your ego and talk to you a million hours about how cute you are or, hey, you talk about your car and your latest this yeah. and this that and the third. And you ain't telling us that we look nice because we need some of that. We need some of that water, too, because at the end of the day, we're flowers and you have to water us as well. So I don't want to continue to keep boosting up your ego and hearing about your materialistic thing. And you you don't have sense enough to tell me, oh, you know, you look good or you look nice or whatever. And that would create a certain amount of balance. And then I would be less aggressive and then you will be less egotistical and we'll be sort of like balanced. And I, okay, and I wanna- Let me chime in, let me chime in, hold up. Let me chime in right quick before we respond, before we respond, team. I think that in the world we live in today, nobody is taking time to get to know nobody. That's why there's this constant battles between the couples. Nobody, we live in a microwave world where you got microwave relationships. People are assuming everything under the sun from the guy. The guy is assuming everything under the sun from the female. Everybody is not the same person. Every woman is not the same. Every man is not the same. But you don't, a lot of times, people don't take the time to have these type of conversations where they get to know their partner, they get to understand their partner. People out here is, you know, we not, most people ain't even dating no more. They getting straight, you know, Netflix and they're chilling or, or dicking and Uber. So it is one way or the other. So it's like, you know, nobody's taking the time. So now when you try to communicate with these with a said person, it's like now you're talking over each other because y'all don't even understand each other. So now you're basically just talking over each other. Like he said, you, you if a man's talking to you and you're rebuttaling back him with the, uh, an aggressive energy, it's going to be another aggressive energy and yeah. you're going to be another aggressive energy. So y'all basically Absolutely. fighting yeah. back and forth. So if you understood your partner, man or woman, if you take the time to understand your partner, get to know them, you would know that, that, that their words that they come out their mouth, the advice that they're giving, or the 
the energy that he's seeking for you is nothing negative. You know what I'm saying? You won't have to have these negative energies all around you. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, that's not even in the room. It's like, yo, if I come home, girl, you know what, babe? Listen, I, 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 this is the plan. Um, this is what it is. I'm going to do X, Y, and Z. And this, by me doing X, Y, and Z, is going to put us in A, B, and C position. Okay, babe? And I'm going to lead this way. And babe, well, okay, babe, all right, I got you. I understand what you're trying to do. I'm going to help you with this, that, and the third. I'm going to call it. And whatever connects either party's got, y'all make it work. And I think a lot of times people don't understand relationships are really partnership as well. Uh, what are we dating for? What are we trying to do? We're trying to get to know each other? Okay. I mean, getting to know a person is, is pretty simple. But now, what are we really doing here? You know what I'm saying? Like, what are we really, really doing? Like, you know what I'm saying? And people don't like to have those conversations because it, it forces people into a corner where it's like, They got to think about their life. I got, I got, yeah, I got expectations now. Oh, mm -hmm. shit. I don't need expectations because I'm, I'm me. I'm doing my life this way. I'm doing X, Y, and Z. I don't need that person to have expectations for me because I don't, might not meet their expectations or whatever the case may be. So a lot of times you're putting people in uncomfortable situations. But we all know as, y'all as independent entrepreneurs, individuals, and I'm a former entrepreneur, as know as uncomfortability creates change. Without no uncomfortability, if you would get in the same comfort zone, you would never change. You would never, never change. Grow. Never grow. Amen. You would never grow. You'd be content. So you have if I didn't get fired, I wouldn't work. move on to this. If I didn't, if this was okay, 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 now, okay, I let it, um, let Twain, um, skip me in the line. Well said, Twain. But yes, <laughs> and Barry. I'm just, I just, I'm just I take things in. Like I said, I, it, it's, it's a male and female show right now today. So you're going to get it from both angles today. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's just where it's going to be. And I'm not going to, you know, <laughs> sugarcoat it. I'm not going to always agree with. Barry, because he's a man, not gonna always agree with you because you're my friend. It's just not gonna happen that way. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna no, speak it the way I feel. I need to speak it for me. We, we, we wanted to be authentic and real here, but I did want to of respond course. to um, what Barry said about, um, he said something about um, people, you know, some of these women being too aggressive and not knowing their tone and this, that, and the third, and then wonder why they uh, go out and have multiple relationships. It doesn't, it has, that has nothing to do with it. If you a cheater, you a cheater. It doesn't matter. I, I think you, if there's, there's people that, there's women that are very submissive, that cater to their men, that do everything, and they still, their men still go out there and have multiple relationships. So it's for you to contribute the, a woman's behavior to the reason why the woman, the man is cheating, I think that is an unfair um, analysis of the situation. May I say, I don't, let, 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 no, no, let me respond to that very quickly. You can't add on to my sentence what I didn't add on to it. I just left it as of that. We'll put the stay right there. That's not a because if everybody could keep on adding to what somebody said, if they if 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 I didn't say that in my sentence, then that that equation of it was what not you say? You for say the that. topic. What no no the topic was sometimes like that's like, like for me. I'm gonna speak on I. Let's speak on I. I don't drink, smoke, or get high. You know, you have people that when they go through things, the first thing they go to is their vices. Some yeah. of my people have the cigarette as their advice, their, their device. Some people have the liquor as their advice. You know, some people go listen to Mary J as they, you know, advice. Some things though. Me, soon as something is not I don't I've been going I've been going from society too long that I don't never find myself depressed in society because I know how to go out and make sure that my I'm back into appreciating freedom and being happy and getting along with life. So for me as a man, I'm talking about for the I, forget other than me. When I'm not feeling right in a situation, I go quickly out and get back into a good situation. Whereas you, you may go decide and go smoke on that, that cancer stick. You may go decide, go smoke on some weed or get drunk or put Mary J on. That's your device. My advice is that I'm like, soon Black just called me out. I'm going to hang out the lounge and put myself in back and of uh, being in that era of enjoying life because people stop appreciating life and they decide to start getting depressed with life. So, I wouldn't so that's why you, you team. That's what you're no, 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 no. You didn't hear what I just said. What I'm trying to say is that there are points that men and women, because not, it's not just men, because I fucked a lot of women that only fucked me that night because of whatever they man to depress them with. So let's not turn this into a one-sided thing. Women cheat just as bad as men. I it's just that they, stop, 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 let me finish, let me finish, let me finish. Hey, queen, queen. Uh, you just said, 
Um, yes. so I got some people who want to call in. Go ahead, Barry. I'm sorry. Give the number because some people want to call in. 929-231-6415 because I don't see the comments on Facebook. So anybody want to call in, it's 929-231-6415. I'm just saying that when, you, when we find ourselves in a situation, if we wanted to make it work, we had to bow out to certain degrees to make it work. A lot of us only go back and forth because once we've seen that it wasn't working, we don't give it really, we don't give too much really damn about it because it wasn't enough there to make it want to work. So that doesn't mean that the man is no good. That doesn't mean that the woman is no good. It's just that they already made it up in their mind prior to whether that argument was that they didn't really care whether it's going to work or not. You hear me? That's that microwave relationship thing. People yeah, so, so exactly. So it, has, it, so it has nothing to do with cheating. It's the fact that uh, I didn't like this bird that's brought anyway, so I'm I'm, I'm going to cheat anyway. And so because that's what it is, the fact. But I'm talking about. Oh, we have we have a caller. We have a caller. Yeah. Let's see. It. I think that's go ahead. Big Girls Radio caller, you're on the line. Who's calling? This is Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Lisa. Hey, how are you guys? This is an awesome conversation. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Because I grew up with brothers, okay? And um, also with the women, I, I remember being you guys' age. I'm a whole lot older. I'm about to be 60 years old. I'm a friend of hey. Lisa is my spiritual mother. She's my spiritual leader at church. Yeah, go ahead, Let Lisa. Let's speak. Let's let Lisa speak. Watch Lisa, watch Lisa get some wisdom here. I'm talking over her. She can't. When you talk about relationships, both parties need to find out who you go into the relationship. You need to find out what you get into. This is why I believe, from my perspective now, that a lot of uh, misunderstanding and a lot of miscommunication, because you need to be honest and transparent. We don't know how honest you are, and I won't know how honest the other party is. But at least that opens the door for a little bit of transparency, if you understand what I'm saying. So yep. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. I didn't like this guy at all, and I ended up marrying somebody I didn't know. I, of course, you know, since I said I'm uh, Lakeisha's, uh, which you guys call her black, but I call her by her, her name. <laughs> but I love it. I love this show. You just don't know how good this is, okay? Thank you. <laughs> We all agree. Yes, yeah. indeed. Quay definitely just gave us that advice um, the other day. I said that. Yeah. Good, sir. I, I definitely said the same as that. Mm-hmm. He's the same thing. Good, he's just single right now, so he's having fun. <laughs> that's, that's a good. You know what I'm saying? No, yes, Mama Lisa. I, I, so I, so we. I'm, go ahead. I'm sorry, Twain. No, I'm just going to push back on what she said. It, it, it's, it's the truth. If you sit there and allow certain men too, we sit there and allow certain situations, that's going to be the certain situation it was going to be. Women the same way. You can't, and you have to communicate what you stepping yourself into. What is this going to be? What are we doing here? Like we just hanging on to the movies, going to dinner, eat. That's that's what the relationship is. That's what we trying to do. Just, yeah, we exactly. That's what we're doing. Okay, that's fair. That's what you want to do. But when I'm trying to move to the next, on to the next situation, understand why I move. I didn't cheat on you. I'm deading you because I'm going to the next situation that's trying to build and move to my plan. You know what I'm saying? And everybody has different plans. You want you know what you know I'm saying? Exactly. The, 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 you know what I want to say? It's about being on the same page. Oh, amen. Oh, amen. Oh, amen. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing that bothers a lot of people. A lot of people don't talk about. It. They do not have those levels of discussion. They don't come, they, it's like, okay, you give me your number, I'll get your number, nice to meet you, you got one, whatever kids you got, you know, your family, I got brothers, they have those 
general conversation. Okay, we're gonna link up, we go out to eat. Okay, we have some drinks. Ha ha ha. Next, you know, we're in the middle of the bedroom doing what we gotta do. And now that whole energy keeps going forward for let's say a year or two. Now you've been with the person for two years. You know, y'all still don't know what the fuck y'all really doing together. Let me, so wait, let me let me say something. Let me throw myself on the cross for a minute. Go ahead. Yeah. Not only Keisha, you know, some of my friends, um, everybody knows that, you know, I'm single. Like, you know, I made me and my husband is not together anymore. So since I started dating, I have dated um, um, quite a few guys. Not had mm-hmm. sex with all of them, but I'll be dating. And I would tell them about a guy and they'd be like, I'll be like, oh, I don't talk to him no more. They'd be like, God damn what he did now. You too picky. And I'll be like, no, I know what I'm looking for. And I, I'm not going to settle for something that I'm not looking for. I want somebody, I'm not looking for a perfect guy, but I want somebody that's on the same page as me. And that's why I call this um, dating. Every dude, I'm not going to lie, every dude that I talked to, dealt with since I broke up with my husband, always wanted to be in a relationship. And I'm like, no, we're dating. I don't want to say that I want to be with you exclusively yet because I hate to sound funny, you know, try to sound cocky or whatever. But I sounded funny. You're doing this, this correctly. This You're doing it how it should be done. Like, you, I, I want to make sure before I say, yeah, I'm dating you exclusively. Uh, and, see, let me ask you something. Huh? Let me ask you at what, at what point do you know would say any particular guy that you want to be exclusively if you got multiple selections? So here's the, did you, did Barry just clap? If you got, if you got five, wait a minute, did Barry, did you just If you have five options, yes, he did clap. If you have five options, right, going on out there, five options going out there, how do you can focus on one and go, you know what, John is the guy, I mean, let me zero in on John and, and, and pay attention to John more. How do you do that with four other well, Jack? Me, I'm, I, may not be dating, I may not be dating five dudes at a time. That's what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm dating. So if I'm dating, make sure he locked my door. Huh? I'm no, not, not you guys. Not you. So what I'm saying is, I'm not. I may not be dating five dudes at a time. I may be do, dating one dude or two dudes at a time. But what I'm saying is. I'm not saying I'm exclusive with you. If I meet somebody and I want to go out with them, I'm free to do that because we're not exclusive. That's what I call no, dating. You're right. No, you're right. The label you're saying, the way you're saying it, okay, I'm, I'm not exclusive with you. That's fair. But now, if the, see, the thing is this, and this is just me personally. If, let's say I got multiple different women that's in my world. You know, every, every guy more than likely got a bunch of women in their world. And like every woman probably got a bunch of And every girl most likely have a bunch of men, madam. Thank you. Exactly. Thank exactly. you. Be honest. Now, there you go. Yeah, that's, right. that's right. Now, here's the ticket. Here's where the kick can come in. Who start to get the attention? If it's Monday, am I seeing this particular person? It's Tuesday, I'm seeing the same person. It's Wednesday. So now the other folks that's there, they have lives too. So they, if they're not getting that same attention from you, they start to fall by the wayside. You know what I'm saying? So now you start to zero in on whoever that person that was Monday, Tuesday, oh, Wednesday. Yeah, Maybe it's always going to be one. And that's, and yeah. that's, and it's that's, always going to be one. And that's the key to dating. You got to stand out the, uh, more right. than the rest of them. Yeah. That's the whole thing. You want, you want, I'm not I mean, it's like going for a job I'm application. It's a, it's a whole bunch of applicants. What makes you stand out from all the rest of them? But, but I'm not, I'm not saying not that. But see, what I'm saying to you is. Everybody else is doing that. You're right. I, what I'm saying, I'm not saying you're wrong, but at the same time, saying, "Oh, I'm not willing exclusive to you," whatever hits me. That right there, and my those words. See, words are a dangerous thing. People don't even understand how dangerous words are. You tell that to a person, "Yo, listen, I'm not exclusive with you, so I'm free to do whatever." You know that? Tell the person, "I'm free to do whatever, too, mama." So you know what? Yo, oh, ass I say that. Me. I say that. But you shouldn't be saying that. You just carry it the way you carry it and let the chips fall where they may. No, the reason why I say that is because... You don't have to say anything. They, they, It's bringing out of me. It's being brought out of me. Like, yo, so what are we doing? Are we a thing? And I'm like, we're dating. We're dating. We're taking our time. I don't just and say, I'm not, yo, this is, this is, it's being being brought to my attention. Like, what are we doing? And I'll be like... Like she said, she said that most of the guys that she's dating... Want when she's want dating them, they want to go exclusive, so she has to, you know, express that it's not an exclusive thing. I understand that, but like I said, the word play, and she said, Yo, listen, we're not I'm free to, I'm free to see other people, blah blah. You don't have to get into all that. See, that's so why remember I told you the other day when we were talking. Remember, remember I told you the other day, I see what you're saying. Music? I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. 
Yeah. You have certain songs when you come over to the place like that. There's certain no, no, songs. No, no, no. Keisha, he about to break this whole shit down again about. Oh, oh, up. Oh, he going oh, back to the. Y'all want to hear this. Y'all want to hear this. <laughs> I'm definitely going to break it down to you. There's certain things that trigger other things, right? So if you come into a dude's crib and he put on some Joe, that's a different mood right there. Joe sets a whole different mood. That ain't no wham, bam, get the fuck out of here, man. Music. You know what I'm saying? You put on some trigger tray. Now, you know you're in some, a different type of time. Mr. Still Your Girl is a different type of time. So if you're saying to a, a dude, listen, what he asked you, what are we? You know what? We're dating. I'm taking my time trying to get to know you. You know, that's what I'm at with this right now. He got to respect that. But if you say, no, I'm no, no, dating. Hold on, hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, hold on. Let me just say this one thing. Didn't when I say that? So then it goes, so what does that mean? Are you seeing? All right, I'm a, I, got, I got your rebuttal. I got you. This is what I'm here for. I got you. What did that mean? It means exactly what I just you know what I'm saying? And no, you shouldn't look but, no but, but I don't understand that, Twain, because she shouldn't. I mean, if that's what she means, that it's not exclusive. Know, and that's what Mama know, Lisa that's was that's saying, that we have to be, you know, right. more upfront. Here, and why here. should she lie and try to word it a different way? See, if it is what it is, she's being honest. Because you men are blatant. You men, when y'all want it to be exclusive and when y'all don't want something, or how it goes, you lay it, you lay it out specifically how it is. Now I'm just beating. Now we just hitting. Y'all, we just doing it. Fall back, ma. I just want the box. But what, Ain't no sugar coating with y'all. So why she can't say we exclusive? I'm not saying she can't, but here's the thing. She didn't, here's the thing. When you say that, you open up another door. We just beating a word. That's what we doing. All right. If that's how she feels, no, just because she's a woman, if that's all she wants, I mean, we're, we're, we're just getting to know each other. And I'm just so saying that, 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 that No. It's like I said, we, like you, that's all you have to say, but I'm just taking my time getting to know you, and we're going to take this like that. Fair. That's all you need. I mean, if he asks, what does that mean? That means exactly what I said. And see, you got to understand the, capa the, the capacity of the man you're dating now. It starts to show, see, you want to know a person, that starts to show you what the person that right there. Mm -hmm. Take everything as a, as a, as a lesson. That's what's wrong with our community at that time. We don't take everything as a lesson. Everything is a lesson. Why is he second questioning what I just said? Oh, okay. Like, so I mean, down the line, y'all going out with my girl. Why are you going out with fucking black? He gonna say oh, this. No. Oh, the, no, the patterns of behavior sh show you early. Man, this is why, and this is why I'm still single because I I take, I watch whoever I'm talking to. I, I analyze everything. And then I'll be like, I don't like that trait. I don't like that, you know? And, and I have my conversations with them and I have a conversation with my homegirls and they be like, damn, you picky. And I'm like, no, I know what this is going and I know what they mean by that. And I don't want to go there and I don't want to do that. Then you also have to do a thorough, more thorough investigation. And like, everybody's not going to be perfect. We all walk up the, I mean, we I'm all- I'm looking for perfection. I'm just looking for I'm the most- I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, it, 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 we all walk out there on a the line of, we put our representative out there, what we want to be for the person that we are trying to be with. That's fair. But at the end of the day, there's certain little things that you, like the little light bulb that go off. It might come up, it might, man, some of us running for the hills. Okay, that's fair too. But sometimes you got to take your time and understand everything is not a red flag. Everything is not a red flag. No, no and, and I think as women, we, we understand that because we, we, you know, we Hold a on. little more, Twain. huh? I want to tell a story, Twain. I want to tell yes. a story, Twain. So, so you said everything is not, you know, to go off on and all that. So Twain, Keisha, you remember the debate that I had on my Facebook page about, Twain? about men, you know, ordering um, food for the woman and all of that? Mm -hmm. So yep. me and him went out, we went to go um, watch you went the out. You went, oh, you went, it, that was you and Twain that time? Yeah. Yes. Okay, and go ahead. He, he didn't see my, my post because we went out after the post. And you know what he did? He ordered a drink for me and ordered my appetizers without even asking me. But I liked his swag. But, his swag yeah, came but, different. But I explained it to me. I didn't get so offended. But what I right. said, I said, like, oh, you must ain't see my post. I don't like that. He like, right. he, he smooth talked me like, yo, it's not that serious. Like, this man on me, you can get the next man. I'm just trying to da 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 da. So, you know, it <laughs> is the way how you say things. He, he's a great talker. He's an <laughs> awesome talker. Yeah, I didn't even awesome. put that on him. I can see when you told me his response. Now that I see his personality even more, I can see how he ironed that out. He know what he's doing. You got, you got 
got it. You got it, T. I'm loving it. Go ahead, B. I'm sorry, B. Let B talk. Yeah, yeah, okay. no, 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 look at this. Let me just, just, let's just go with that story there. This man came to the table and tried to be as gentleman as possible. There you go, brother. As gentleman as possible. Hey, give her the drink. Hey, you get her this appetizer. Because in his mind, this probably was due to a prior date that he had where she probably insulted him because he didn't do that. So here it is, he had another spice. Like that. I'm going I'm going to take this, I'm going to take that constructive criticism, and I'm going to add it differently to this eating that I'm eating with. So hey, give her the drink, of it. and then you had the black woman come back at him. Hold up. I don't like that. No, and let, and let, <clears throat> us, let us tell you why, though. Because, because you know, we had dates okay. where we felt like it was controlling. Where we felt like right, it was well, the wrong energy and the wrong well, situation. Yeah. Uh, I get it. I get it, but, but the man, but the man was trying to be a gentleman. And he get it now. The way he explained it, I, I I was okay with it. Let okay. me ask you something, Black. I'm just gonna ask you with that same scenario, right? I hear women always asking men to lead. Take the lead on this. Take the lead oh, on that. Where's I'm one of them. them. I'm one of them. I'm one of them. Gonna lead. Exactly. So now, uh, I go to my place, and she'll tell you this. I knew the bartender. The people know me. Now, a little yes. swanky, little fake, little swanky spot in my neck of the woods. People right. know me. It was like I come in there out the blue and never been there before. It's the first time, and I'm it's just ready like, It's your spot. spot. It's your spot. Right. My spot. So you know what? I'm gonna show you how I give it up. You know what I'm saying? How I get down in my spot. <laughs> Listen, I recommend this. This is what we're doing for this right now. First round, I'm gonna try. I want you to try this thing called a lemon drop. This is what we're drinking right here. Let's my do it. Favorite. Now, if you don't like it, don't you don't like it? Feel free to pour it out. You can say, "Yo, listen, I don't like it." But you know what? I'm gonna take the lead in this situation. You know what I'm saying? And that's just how I am. You know what I'm saying? And now. Next, like, I'm, especially if I'm the one inviting you out, I'm making a plan. Now, if you invite me out, I'm gonna fall back. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play the passenger seat. I'm Barry B. Right? We fucking Dougie Fresh. I'm Barry B. in the passenger seat. You do you, boo. I'm fine with you. Say Dougie but Fresh. I'm, I'm, I'm Barry B. Right I love me. It. Barry but I get what you're saying, you and I get what you're saying too, Barry. I, you, you, that was a valid yeah, point. What you were saying, because he, he you, you might be going off of a previous experience. That's right, and that was on both no, parts. No, 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 let me say, let me say, no, let me say something real quick. Let us talk. Listen, listen, with Fatima, right? Anytime we went out, right, we go out all time. I allow her to play her lead because you know her lead is she likes to lead. So we already That's know that. Cool. See, stop, 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 stop. That's Fatima. Right. Fatima likes to lead. She Barry. She like Barry. This is what we doing. I'm like, all right, because I'm type of dude. I'm used to just beans and rice. I need people to come around me and introduce me to beans, rice, and salad. So therefore, me that she knows how to add on the beans, rice, and salad. I'm always cool with what she want to do, but I always never she tell you she never paid a bill. You hear me? So that's my gentleman aspect no. of of me right now. No, see there she goes. I'm fucking with you. Stop being so. Serious. Yeah. Because you're not let me. I'm thank you today. Uh, Why are you tonight? Well, no, no, it's not sensitive. What I'm trying to say is, these are the things that happen in in a lot of aspects of of, of dating and getting to know each other. That some people are so used to one thing that when something else get introduced, they take it as an insult instead of just yep. saying, you know what, this is just how he moves. And I respect that. I can see it instead of instead of barking on him right then. What you doing? I don't do that. No, no, you know what no, I mean? No. Stop, 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 no, stop, 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 stop. Let me finish, cause you not let me finish. The, the man just told you. He showed you what he did, and you, you according to you, you said, "Why are you ordering it for me?" Instead of you sitting back and allowing the, the day to continue, it. Yeah. embracing it, and then put an analysis on it on your own. Don't insult some right then and there when he don't want to talk to me. Yeah, no, no. It's not okay for me to explain uh, it like that, right? We talked about the maturity, but, and then yeah. I understood everything that he was saying. All right, but what I'm saying is, when, when I say insult, it's not always a full fledged insult. It's, it's, don't, don't take uh, insult, the word insult as being that it's all the way insulted. It just stops you from, like, damn, did I do something wrong there? You know, Boy, it, it's stopping from your point. And it, so, 
you didn't allow it to continue out and didn't be able to measure him I, that. I did and, allow and, and it. No, you didn't allow him to continue on with it and then measure it later on the aspect of who he really is. You know? I, I, I never knew he did, but Wayne, did I not uh, let you order the drink and the appetizer? And then I said, you know, because, you know, you are who you are, I'm not going to go off, but I don't like that. And then you did just feel on why you did it like that, and we talked about it, and we moved on for it. But I did allow him to do it. But as a as a, a human being, I have a right to express I didn't like that. You're right. Listen, you were allowed to express how you feel. You definitely allowed to express how you feel in any situation, not just those type of situations. In any situation. But the thing is this: what I'm like, I like I was trying to get to. I was like, a lot of times women say, "I need like I'm looking for a good man, a man that can lead me." Right. I agree. And when a man expressed a certain level no. of leadership, I wouldn't know because I was to, when a man you expressed a certain level. It's like, I need... You hear me now? I'm good. Testing. Do y'all hear him? Because I can. Yeah, I, I hear well. him clearly. I, I hear him well. clearly. Well, then you're breaking up. Go ahead. Go ahead, Twain, because we way but over. I'm, okay, I'm going to oh, yeah, say okay, yeah, that. But anyway, I'm going to chime in for when a man, woman looks for a man to lead. And you know, it's the old men they lead. When a man actually starts to attempt to lead, and it might be a lot not along the same path that they want to go, they are allowed to express their feelings. But at the same time, like like um Barry said, sometimes you gotta sit back and let it all play out so you know how to analyze his leadership. You know what I'm saying? Because nowadays we definitely as men need to lead. And women, I don't mean follow as follow like a little kid follow, but be an asset and vice versa to each other. We both need to be assets to one another. You know I'm saying we definitely need to learn how to let women be women and men come back to being men. Because in no disrespect, Barry, to any other black brothers out there listening, I think a lot from what I'm hearing from my female ladies, friends out in the world, a lot of y'all brothers is acting like white women. Y'all want to be coddled like fucking white women. Y'all here running around thinking y'all fucking younger than what y'all really are. And y'all look, you know what I mean? It, it's just sad to say it like that, but it is the reality of it like that. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't going to sugarcoat it for nobody. And I'm, and I'm not hearing from one particular person. I am, I'm talking about multiple different circles of people as females are saying this. Mm -hmm. Brothers, we got to get it back together. We got to step up. And it ain't all about our money. It ain't all about certain, your finances and how fly you are, et cetera, et cetera. It's about how, what's your plan? Where are we trying to go? Figure out what you're trying to go with this particular woman that you're dealing with. And y'all sit down and hash it out. And like the, like the, uh, Miss Lisa said, be very transparent about what y'all really want going mm -hmm. forward. And that's that's that that's the point link period. You know what I mean? And um, I love you know, it. Forum, I love it. I forums love like this, we need to have much more room. We need to you know, um, you know, talk about relationships. We need to talk about you know relations and how to be men because you know, as we see, there's a lot of us uh, young and is they confused out there. They don't know if they're men, women, or whatever the fuck they want to call them. They out don't know if they're a clown, a woman, a yeah, drag. What the hell going on out there? You know what right, I'm saying? Right. They need, they need and it's and it's job. hard for a woman to follow after somebody who doesn't know who they are. Yeah. You yeah. can't be a confused leader. Right. You can't be a, you can't be confused and be a leader. And that's and a that's lot of what us women have to deal with. We want to let a lot of men lead. I I really want to, but if you don't have a plan and you're all over the place, then how am I going to submit to that? Why should I submit to that? You know, I you, all the time. I'm a I'm a um um um. I'm a strong woman, but I don't have no problem with being submissive and um, letting um, a man take the lead if he's worthy of leaving. Just like with you, I have respect for you. I know you. I know what type of person you is. That's why I didn't take too of offense when you did that. I know you wasn't trying to control me because I know that how, how much you respect women and all the conversations and we hang out on it. I know that's not the type of time you on. I just brought that up because I was like, oh, you must ain't see the post that I made. You know what I mean? I thought you did see it and you was trying to be funny. That's why I did it. But I didn't take it in no kind of disrespect because I know mm -hmm. you. Yeah. But like I said before, and, that, and I'm not trying to even be funny at all, but at the end of the day, if I'm bringing somebody somewhere, I'm showing them my world. Like, and, and, and embrace my world for what my world is. And if I you choose to entertain in my world, then you chose to entertain because you saw what I, the world I've showed you. Now, if you don't, mm -hmm. I'm showing you going up or just random, like, we gotta say, you know what? It's a brand new spot I've never been here before. Listen, I'm gonna let you order whatever the fuck you wanna order. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can do whatever you wanna do. I've never been here. I don't know what to even order my damn self. But right. I've been, like I said before, I've frequented yeah. this place. Like, 
you seen the yeah. energy that was there when I walked into the place. It wasn't like I walked in there and guys shit me. Hey, what's up? It was like I was fucking um, known from Cheers. Like, hey, what's up? Yeah, it's my spot. It's my spot. <laughs> I was known from Cheers. I love I mean, it. It's what we doing in my spot. It it's really was. Yeah, but yeah, like, uh, can you go tell John? Can you tell Sue to um change the station? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. like, yo, I get what you're saying. Yeah, myself. that was your spot, and you know, lemon drop. You knew lemon drops were good there, so you you ordered the the beautiful lady a lemon drop because you know what's good. I got it. The next one she might want, she can try something. But let me let me show you something. That I get. That's it. You know what I'm saying, and you know, compromise, understanding, and comprehension. Those three things. Do you think I was? I did a good compromise. I, I wasn't bad, right? It, it was no, it wasn't bad. <laughs> but the thing is, I'm saying, in just in general terms, period, compromise, understanding, and comprehension is very important things in our community, y'all. And uh, and we have to understand each other. We have to be able to bend and flex with each other, and we have to really comprehend what each other is saying. Because we shouldn't be talking at each other. We should be talking to each other, like the brother said earlier. And everybody should, you know, try to pull each other up in every in every shape, form, or fashion. You know what I'm saying? For real, for real. And just to sound off on your radio station. Everybody out there listening, black economics is the most powerful thing in the world. If the black people continue to spend their money elsewhere and, and give these other folks the power, we will never get the power we're looking for. We can march to the kingdom come, we can riot. It will never respect us without no black unity for our economic power. And that's point blank. Mm -hmm. period. And yes, that, that's just the realest thing I'm gonna say tonight. You know what I'm saying? And you, that's said a, you said quite a few real things tonight. We appreciate you. This was amazing. Yeah, you guys, both of you guys were amazing. This was fun, Queen. I uh, appreciate you bringing us up. We really, really needed this on so many levels. I like both of you gentlemen are really stand up guys. And just talking to you guys, I know who I'm cutting off tomorrow night. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody in the garbage tomorrow. Look, look. You see what type of men I keep around me? This is why I'm still. Because you, look, if y'all not adding up to the homies, like I'm sorry, no. <laughs> I'm, just, listen, listen, I'm just kidding. Listen, they already cut. No. <laughs> listen, listen, could I please put something on the table before y'all close out? Let me just say this for me as the black man. You hear me? If women continue to be women, you hear me? And mind you, it's not an insult. Don't nobody take a shot. I'm just saying, just like y'all say, if men continue to be men. There's a, you know, you going with y'all. I'm saying, women. I, I need y'all continue to be women. And what I mean by that, don't allow whatever's happening to make you start acting like a man in a situation and, and then you find out why you're just as single at a certain age as everybody else. So, but what's wrong with Listen, you? listen. She, she never let me finish my sentence. I, know, I, know. I, I, I sort of understand where you're going. Listen, what I'm trying to say, listen, continue to be the nurturing women that you are. You hear me? And I'm going to say why. Despite what us men may go through, we always remember who was the women that made us feel whole. You hear me? Right now, Big Butter Smile may divert us at a given time, but at the end of the day, after we done got the number and we back, we know what a woman was that made us feel nurtured in, at home and warm. So, when I say women continue to be women, continue to brace your brothers as, you know, like, hey, I'm here. Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying, if I give him that kiss and that hug, make him feel like something when he's walking out the door despite whatever it is. And I only say that because to say this, if you want the relationship that you're talking about, then continue to play your part. I'm not saying bad wow. I'm not saying be an idiot to whatever thing is going on, but make a person remember what they lost in you. If I feel that the only thing I lost in you was you chatting at me and, and talking down to me, then don't be upset when you're not my first thought when I need that comfort. You know what I'm trying to say? So, women, if you're listening, continue to let that man know what he loses out of you. You hear me? Which is you know how to cook. You know how to be that nurture, and you doing your own thing. Motherfucker, I don't really need you. I just know that I'm digging with you, and I'm willing to build with you. But if I'm, you're not ready for what I got going on, then you could continue to go play with Sally, you know? Yeah, man, I'm going to continue to be, because when the next dude I hug and, and show that I'm still a woman like that I showed you, he's going to want to stay. You hear me? 
Them are the people that men think about at the end of the day, regardless in what situation. And that's just a juice you got to run on. I don't care what else you I is, know, because every time I have to get in the gym, I, my phone fucking ring. Thank <laughs> you. Like, right, right. right. Yeah, but yeah. with that being said, let me just, let me just, let me put a little quick spin on that. This is a little tight spin. With that being said, brother, still step up. Like, don't be out there being fuck boy to think these women supposed to take you back from after you've been a fuck boy. You know what I'm saying? Because that right there, you know what I'm saying? That right there, it's like, you know, I'm going to kick you in the ass five times, but I'm going to go over here and do good, and I'm going to come back after kick you in the ass six times. Yeah. That, that's that's, that's what I took it as. There you go. There you go. Don't expect me to. There you go. Come on, Twain. Push through, baby. Push through, Twain. No, 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 no. no. Push through, Twain. Push through. Fuck that, Twain. You should run for president. Fuck that. President, Twain. Fuck Biden. I need you to get your. Up. Fuck that. What I'm trying to say is. What I'm trying to say. Is, as you as a woman, then don't let that fuck boy back into your world. Because right. a lot of y'all, when you call, you're kind of happy. You're happy. Oh, shit, yo, yo, black, I can't talk to you right now. Oh, oh, oh fuck boy in the other line. And you hang up with your home girl to go talk to fuck boy. Because, you're, listen, I'm not saying you. I'm saying no. you. You don't tell everybody and mama that he fuck boy, but you still continuing. To, to, to know your fuck yeah. boy. So that's on you. Don't take that as everything else. That's on you. You continue to know your fuck boy because you like fuck boy. Don't throw that shit for nobody else. I'm so not you know what's like crazy fuck boy. boy. Damn, fuck boy, boy you ain't anymore. mud today, buddy. There's a psychological part. That's that a little personal. Like I'm sorry, you said black and everything. I feel like, I feel attacked. I really feel attacked. I'm sorry. Hold on. Hold on. He ain't coming at you. He ain't even talking about you. There's, no, a, there's a psychological you. part out there. Too. Should I finish it? The last for one second. Nah, you good, Queen. There's a, there's a psychological part. There's a psychological part that plays a part. There's a lot of people that feel that their relationships should be toxic regardless. That they're not even qualified for good relationships. They feel like feel fuck, boys, fuck women should be what they deserve because of what they've seen growing up what they've seen in their own households or whatever it may be. So they feel that that's what it should be. You know what I'm saying? And that's why they tend to take them back. But at certain points in time, you have to have a cutoff. Like, you have to, you know what? I'm you get tired of the bullshit. Yeah. Hold on. When a woman's fed up. Not even a woman. No, we can't sing R. Kelly. Oh, no, not R. Kelly. No, I'm sorry. We forgot. We forgot. He no, she didn't just no, she didn't just but she married me by Tory. God damn. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Mom, I'm I'm that part out, please. Dudes to fuck chicks back, Yo, yo, in my diss song, in my diss song to you, my diss track to you, I said that too. I said I go to Chris, but she bumping R. Kelly, but she mad at me with Tory. You ain't just some shit. You gonna hear this shit. He said in his diss track. Queen, you gotta come at this dude. You got to come at him. Yo, I got my diss track ready too. Don't worry about it. There's nothing to come for them full. What what we're saying here is that a lot of times. It's too forgiving hearts and a lot of fuck boys and fuck women mentality. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's, it, it's, it's just, you know what I'm saying? We ain't Jesus Christ. We don't have to keep forgiving everybody for right. the damn thing. Mm-hmm. You, you keep out there fucking up. I don't listen. I, and my thing is this if I'm a cheat, if I get caught cheating, I don't want you to take me back. Oh. Please don't take me back. I was just thinking, tell them your philosophy on cheating. <laughs> yeah. And you take me back. Think, there's two things I think are happy. You gonna try to get you some get back, and I ain't gonna like it, which I don't even really do that. Fuck all that. Or every time I touch my phone, every time I walk out the door, there's gonna be a lot of harassing questions, a lot of insecurity things. So I don't want no parts of me to do that. Oh, said he ain't he leaves. He said he ain't, no. If yeah, I mean, cheating, that's it. Yeah, but I agree with you because once you cheat and you break that trust, Every time you touch that phone, you know, we'll forgive you. And then it'd be a headache. It'd be a stress on both of us. Because I don't be really wanting to worry about no dude. 
when you know I'm living my life free and I ain't worried about you. Now, stuff I pay attention to. Before, I used to let you, don't care if you go out with your friends, don't care what your phone do. Then I found out you cheated, you were shorty. Every minute you move and then, you know, it brings me out of my element of comfortability. And it makes me feel like, you know, we we just add on with each other. So I can respect that. It's, it alleviates the headache. It alleviates the whole headache. I fucked up, listen. <laughs> Oh, what's that? Which one are you talking about? I got a lot of disclaimers. Which one are you talking it's about? My connection. No, no, no. When what? you were saying when um you say that if you get caught cheating, you um um you um if the relationship is over because you don't even want to go back with them. But you said you're not a cheater too, so let's put that out there. Mm, I'm not, what? What's the purpose of that? He's not technically a cheater, but if he does, <laughs> what's, oh no, what's technically or what's not technically? No, no, let me explain something. To you. Huh? If, I'm I'm relationship, if we're in a committed relationship, it makes no sense for me to do nothing outside of that relationship. Right? It makes zero sense. We're committed. Because you know why? When I'm single, I do me so well. Single, I have nothing to prove to nobody. And a lot of dudes out there still. Chasing their tails because they're trying to prove something to themselves or they still got it, whatever case it be, or they lack it. If I choose you as my woman, that means that you, for me, for me, and it might not be for somebody else, but for me, that you fulfill all, you check all my boxes. There's nothing else no other woman can do that. And if this now, let's put the hypothetical out there. And hypothetically speaking, if I do cheat, right, the person I'm cheating with, the side chick, will never feel like she's the main. She would get, I mean, it would be a, a, almost a borderline humili humiliation type thing. But you ain't gonna feel the energy like no, like this dude really care like that about. Me. I'm gonna talk to you in a certain type of tone where you can go, yo, that motherfucker shit, but he got some good dick. Exactly. That's all you're gonna be saying to you. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna have you feeling nothing up on my lips. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm hanging up. That's the only way you're gonna feel it. I'm hanging up. You know what I'm saying? That's the only way you're gonna feel it. A lot of people treat their sides better than they may, but you say that subject for a whole nother podcast and later on down yeah. the line. That's why I'm sure it is. That's Exactly. We gotta have a rematch yeah. with this. We gotta this have part two and part three of this because we already done yeah, this. This, this is gonna be an ongoing series. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Uh, but I, I, I appreciate y'all, Kings. Appreciate you, Queen. But you know, I'm a mama, so I'm gonna get off and yeah, we're gonna, um, we're gonna end this. Oh, what do you mean? Mark, you know, Mark gotta go to work and all of that. Our, um, our engineer guy in the back. That's, that's, you know. Just came home with vacation and everything, and he's still working, working hard trying to make sure the show got on. We're gonna let, you know, let him go with his family. We have all right. We appreciate uh, you, Mark. Everybody, check the show out um, on YouTube. On, uh, YouTube. You know, this is a very good show. So if y'all tell a friend, tell a friend, especially tell them about this show, so they could go check this out on YouTube. But they can yeah, check. Yeah, I'll send it to I've sent it to a few people. I've sent it to a lot of them. So you just send me the link so I can do what I need to do. And, yeah. um, you know, it's all good. Listen, Barry, man, I'm going to have to get um, your face came up. I need to tell you. I'm always supporting the black friends. I'm going to have to get a hoodie or something from you, brother. And we'll, you know, we'll figure that I out. Appreciate and that's I appreciate that. it. Thanks, gentlemen. Love it was fun. Way. I appreciate y'all. God bless y'all to cover y'all and protect y'all black men. Leave the um, thing. Thank, thank you. Everybody, I'm going to see you next week. Y'all have a great night. And it's on um, Facebook land. We see y'all in the A on our next show. I guess it's the 25th, right? Yeah. Love y'all. Right. See y'all later. Later. Bye.